Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 tells us that whenever two or three are gathered together in his name, wherever on earth they may be, then he will be amongst them. And I'm here to testify that he was there with us, in that circle, uniting us, regardless of rank or denomination, in the worship of his name. By July 1917, war was well and truly raging across Europe. Death and destruction a way of life. To help them through this difficult time, a handful of Australian soldiers from the 53rd Battalion established a prayer and Bible study group. Amongst them was 20-year-old John Ridley. We met in the back of old buildings, or in stables. The lighting was poor and there was no musical accompaniment but the six of us sang on without it. And the volume was testimony to the sincerity of those soldiers' souls. Christ was indeed in our midst, for the word began to spread. An organ arrived, and we eventually had to pitch a tent for our meetings. The numbers of our members had grown so much. However, the shadow of war, never far from their minds, loomed over the group. The 53rd Battalion was bound for Ypres and the Battle of Polygon Wood, and for many, this would be the last time they would join their fellow soldiers in worship. The tent was packed on our last night, a record number, and the address was given on Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. It was several weeks until the group could meet again and only a few remained but they were not to be discouraged, continuing their study in fields and ruined buildings, wherever they could find the room. I think it was this determination to continue to worship and inspire others regardless of what was going on around them that, that ensured that Ridley's Bible group didn't just end with the uh, horrible casualties that they'd suffered at the Battle of Polygon Wood. But I think what's more interesting is the way that these men and other men who served in the First World War carried this newfound faith back with them when they returned home and, and subsequently influenced the generation of Australians. Ridley returned to Sydney where he became an evangelist, continuing the work he had started in France and bringing thousands of people to faith in Christ through his inspired preaching. Amongst those he inspired was converted alcoholic Arthur Stacey, who was so moved by Ridley's teaching that he began to chalk a word on the streets of Sydney. Were the whole realm of nature mine? That were an offering far too small. Love so amazing, so divine. Demand my soul, my life, my all. 